All right, one last video for tonight. Let's review the games that went down tonight. Today's Friday, the 23rd of February. There were five games on the schedule tonight. Relatively quiet night, although Fridays uh, generally are. Uh, first game on the docket, you have Minnesota at the Rangers. Both teams played last night. Uh, so both teams can't use that excuse as uh, the back-to-back -back screwing them up because both teams had to deal with it. So... Uh, ultimately, Minnesota gets the win. Uh, the Rangers are obviously in a free fall right now. 4-1 uh, to one was the final in this game. Dubinik with 22 saves for the win. Georgiev, uh, 33 saves uh, in the losing effort for the Rangers. Jesper Foss got uh, uh, the goal for the Rangers. And Granlin with two. Stahl with two for the Wild. Uh, the Wild are now 6-1-2 and two in their last uh, nine games, and the Rangers have now lost six in a row and are now 6-17-0 since the January 1st Winter Classic game. So uh, two teams headed in opposite directions in that one. Next game of the night, Pittsburgh at Carolina. I watched the bulk of this game, and I kind of expected that the uh, Penguins would ultimately win that game. However, I didn't think it would be so easy. Um, the Hurricanes just look completely, completely overmatched and overwhelmed by the Penguins in this one. And the Penguins, um, you know, there's a lot of buzz around, uh, you know, the, the Hurricane announcers, because I live here in Carolina, I get the Hurricane announcers, and they were talking about the big trade uh, all night long with uh, the Penguins getting Derek Broussard. And... Um, um, and they don't even have him yet, and they destroyed Carolina. It was just it was just a one-sided game from start to finish. Pittsburgh just looked like it, it looked like a minor league team playing against a, a team of all stars. It was just it was sick. Uh, uh, and I was rooting for Carolina to win, so it made it even that much more sickening to watch. Uh, but anyway, here are the stats: uh, Murray gets 27 saves for the w win, Ward 33 saves in the losing effort. And in the third, once he gave up that sixth goal, he got really frustrated, started slamming his stick around. Um, and understandably so, his defense was leaving him high and dry. These goals were not all Ward's fault. Um, they just weren't playing a very good team game tonight. Uh, overall, the team didn't look very good. Uh, but in the winning effort, all of Pittsburgh's big-name players got goals tonight. Crosby, Kessel, Malkin... Gensel and uh, Mata, uh, and uh, Tara Vinen got the goal for Carolina. Um, Carolina is still, even though they've, they've lost um, four in a row and only getting one point in those four games, they're still just one point out of the playoffs, which is remarkable to me. It just shows how nobody seems to want to jump up and grab that last playoff spot in the uh, in the Metropolitan, or in the East, for that matter. Um, they're still only one point out, and they're still right in the thick of things. If they get things turned around, they can do it. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, is headed in the opposite direction. They've now won six in a row, and they just passed tonight uh, Washington for first place in the Metro. Next game, Winnipeg at St. Louis. Uh, this one here, I didn't see any of this game, but it appears to be a one-sided affair. Um, the St. Louis Blues players uh, agree they weren't happy with the way they played, and uh, ultimately Winnipeg ends up with a 4 nothing win in that one. Hellebuck, 34 saves in the win. That's uh, his sixth shutout of the year. Uh, Connor, Lane, Patan, and Wheeler got the goals for Winnipeg, and... Jake Allen with 19 saves in the losing effort for St. Louis. All right. Game number four tonight. Uh, San Jose at Chicago. San Jose coming off a game last night. So they have um, the back-to-back -back issue that they're dealing with. Chicago, on the other hand, has been sitting. And uh, they came out um, and pretty much won the game going away. Uh, even though... San Jose was making quite an effort to try to tie the game. Uh, they, they ultimately came up short. Uh, but in net, 
Uh, Jones, 33 saves in the losing effort. Berube, 42 saves in the winning effort for Chicago. Meyer got the goal for uh, San Jose. And Anisimov, Ruda, and uh, Schmaltz got the goals for Chicago. Uh, San Jose has now lost two in a row. And Chicago is now third. Uh, one, three... I'm sorry. Chicago's now won three games. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Uh, Chicago's now won three games in their last four games played after having that big, long losing streak uh, snapped. But unfortunately, it's too little too late for Chicago. They're too far out of the playoff hunt at this point. And the last game of the night, Vancouver at Vegas. And as you can expect, Vegas, with a home game, as unbeatable as they are at home, or nearly unbeatable. They come away at the win as an all-round party situation for uh, Vegas as they continue to play very, very well at home. But uh, pretty high-scoring affair. Uh, Flurry got the win in net for Vegas with 30 saves. Nielsen uh, got 20 saves in net for Vancouver, and then he was yanked uh, for... Uh, Markstrom, who got eight saves of his own. Uh, Marchi, Daniel Sedin, and Vanek are the goal scorers for Vancouver. Heike, Carlson with two, Marcheseau, Nosek, and Perron with the goals for Vegas. And the Perron goal, he really didn't do anything. Um, it was just an errant pass from one Vancouver player to another that happened to go in their own net. And Perron happened to be the last guy to touch it, so... He got the goal. I was kind of hoping Flurry would have gotten credit for it, but they traced it back, and Perone was, in fact, the last guy to touch the puck in that game. So Vegas has now won two in a row. Not that they need any more winning streaks, but they're, they're back on a winning streak. And Vancouver is 2-7-1 in their last 10 after this game. And all of these teams over here were off tonight. And I included in this section because... Tomorrow is such a big day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and preview all of the games going on tomorrow night. So let me go ahead and reset the camera and we'll get that uh, right away. So down in this corner, I included tomorrow night's schedule since I had the room on the board with only five games up here, all the teams off over here. Uh, I decided to include, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to pick it up on um, this particular board let me see if we can change it there so we don't have any glare there change the board's angle a little bit so the glare is not so bad yeah okay so you should be able to see it logos here are much smaller so uh again 12 games tomorrow night tomorrow saturday usually the busiest night in the league so that's no surprise there uh, the afternoon games tomorrow there's one at two o'clock philly at ottawa um Colorado at Calgary. That's a 4 p.m. Eastern game, 1 p.m. Calgary time, uh, or might be 2 p.m. Can't remember if Calgary's two or three hours behind us. I know. I should know. And then uh, the Islanders at New Jersey playing at 6. Bruins at Toronto at 7. There's your Hockey Night in Canada game. And your other Hockey Night in Canada game is Tampa Bay at Montreal. Uh, and then you've got uh, Carolina at at Detroit after the loss last night I would expect them to come out firing uh, pretty solid tomorrow night uh, Pittsburgh at Florida tomorrow night Buffalo at the Capitals Chicago at Columbus Winnipeg at Dallas Anaheim at Phoenix or Arizona sorry Phoenix and Edmonton at LA so as far as games are concerned, I work until 7 o'clock tomorrow night, so I probably won't be able to see since uh, all these, two of these, and these all start at 7. I probably won't catch maybe the tail end of the second period, early third of these games. And I'll jump into whatever games are the closest. I'm hoping it's the Bruins game, but uh, if that game's not close, I'll jump into some of these others and, and watch them. So... But in, in the games tomorrow night, I expect uh, Philly to beat Ottawa in that one. Uh, Calgary-Anaheim can go, e or Calgary 
Colorado can go either way. Um, I expect New Jersey to win that game. Uh, uh, if Matthews is back tomorrow night, uh, I think Toronto will give Boston a good run in that one since Toronto is the home team. Uh, but um, if Matthews is not back, uh, I think Boston will come away with the win in that one. Tampa should beat Montreal. Uh, Carolina should beat Detroit, although Detroit, it's kind of a Jekyll and Hyde team. You never know what you're going to get from them. Some nights you they lay down and let teams roll over them. Other nights they're one of the tougher teams to beat in the league. Uh, but after this effort tonight with Carolina, I expect them to come out flying tomorrow. So uh, that's why I expect Carolina to win that one. Pittsburgh is as good as they're rolling. And I, yeah, I know Florida is playing well right now, but I still think Pittsburgh right now is firing on all cylinders. And they just got even better tonight with uh, Derek Broussard going there. So um, he should be able to get there in time for the game tomorrow night. But we'll see. Uh, the Capitals should beat Buffalo in that one. Um, I would expect Columbus to beat Chicago in that one. But um, because Columbus is still fighting for a playoff spot, Chicago is out. But Chicago's been playing well lately, and they haven't. So you know what? I think Chicago's going to win that game. Uh, Dallas hosting Winnipeg. Winnipeg is playing really well right now. Uh, Dallas is fighting for a playoff spot, but I think uh, Winnipeg will ultimately win that one. Uh, and then uh, Anaheim needs this win over Arizona way worse than Arizona needs to win, so I expect Anaheim to uh, ultimately uh, win that game. And then I fully expect L.A. to beat Edmonton uh, in L.A. So I think I've got mostly road teams winning tomorrow night. So we should see. So that's all I've got for this video. Uh, as always, click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you want more of this type of content. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one.